fish on boys i barely felt this guy hit and uh i didn't even know he was on he hit it so gently look at this nice little guy oh man look at that he hit it so softly i didn't even know he was on that's a nice looking bass love it love it love it love it nice looking guy let's see if we could get another one Anyway. He's got some sharp teeth on him too. He hit the soft plastic so soft I barely knew he was on. And I got a really light pull on me right now. Really light gear. I've been out here for a couple hours now and slow down a lot. Got that first bass on the uh, little bluegill looking swim bait. I'm not sure what color or what style it is, but it's a little bluegill looking shad i was using and then now i switch back to this uh crawfish y'all been seeing me use a lot and i got like a uh i think it's a crankbait or something like one of those scatter baits on the other rod but yeah i also tried a uh a spook earlier but that wasn't working out too well so i went back to this uh crawfish that usually works for me or has been working for me and uh, that other crankbait, scatterbait. Let's see what happens though. what's up guys hopefully you enjoyed that little uh fishing session right now it was a pretty slow day today but we got out there and we caught that one bass and it was pretty cool but today i want to show you uh what i usually use to fish freshwater i growing up i never really fished a lot of uh, fished a lot of freshwater although i did a little bit in high school because i lived like west of like fort lauderdale and pembroke pines and stuff so did a lot of freshwater fishing there but not too much I'm not well versed in it at all and I've been doing a lot of it recently as you can see by the recent videos so today I just wanted to show you uh, my little freshwater setup and starting with this little bait caster right right here it's a Abu cart Abu it's a little Abu Garcia bait caster and it's on this seven foot rod I got here it's uh, I'm not sure the company that makes it but I think it's just one of the uh, Bass Pro fishing rods, and it says Graphite Series on it. So as much as I can tell you, but it is a seven foot rod. It's a medium heavy, fast action rod. And this is the, the one I got the big seven, seven some pounds uh, bass on it. And uh, yeah, I got 10 pound braid on here, and I got a 12 pound leader attached to it. And recently, well recently, today, I've been using this, uh, swim bait right here almost looks like a uh, one of the tsunami ones but it's not tsunami i got this at walmart can't remember the name of the company and uh yeah i see a lot of freshwater guys they know their colors of their lures i have no idea what this is i guess that would be a bluegill maybe uh no clue uh, if you know let me know down in the comments below that's what i was rocking out there today and that's what i caught the uh, one bass with today was on this swim bait but yeah seven foot rod with the abu garcia i got 10 pound braid on here with a 12 pound leader which i think it's kind of too much probably why i haven't been catching as much fish as i want to yeah i'll probably go down to just 10 pounds on this one and then recently in the orlando trip i carefully i usually just carry that one rod with the bait caster on but from the orlando trip i've been using this one too which if you watch my other videos and when I'm saltwater fishing off the boat or the pier, this is usually my sabiki rod. And uh, I originally got it for uh, peacock fishing, but then it just turned into my uh, sabiki rod. But now it's back at, now I'm using it again as a freshwater rod. 
And it's uh, another Bass Pro series uh, rod, I guess. It's the little brawler one. And this one, this is a smaller rod. And this is what, six foot? Six foot, it's a two piece. And it's a medium action. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's a medium fast action rod. And uh, on this one, this one's pretty bad. I got 12 pound test on this. And uh, this is just a little cheap reel I bought on Amazon because the one that originally came with the brawler just got jacked up. So I bought this cheap reel on Amazon for like 20 bucks or whatever it was. And yeah, I got 12 pound test on here right now, which is probably a bit too much. Yeah, I got the, the bass today on this rod, but I had a different bait on here, the one I showed you earlier. Yeah, I'm probably gonna kick down. So I'm probably still gonna use this as my sabiki rod, but I'm gonna kick down the line to eight pounds, which is probably not a good idea. But I mostly wanna use this one for, uh, for freshwater fishing now, since I've been doing a lot of it. And uh, yeah, on here I got the uh, the crawfish that I've been using a lot lately, and I uh, caught that seven pound bass with. Again, I don't know the colors of these things like you professional bass guys out there. And uh, yeah, this is my rod and reel setup. And I just wanna talk about how we fish the canals down here in Florida since a lot of people, uh, when they visit the state or come from the north of the state down to South Florida, and a lot of people do canal fishing, especially down in South Miami to catch the, the exotic fish. But a lot of people go to Lake Ida up in Palm Beach or uh, a lot of the canals, uh, like the C-14 Canal in Broward County to catch some snakeheads. But the way I generally fish it is no matter where I'm at, I, I like casting my line along the banks, not dead ahead. I usually like casting my line down the banks and just bringing it in on both sides. I'll do that a couple of times. And, walk like 50 feet or something and keep doing that all the way uh, depending on where i'm at i'll probably do like a lap around and then or just go like half a mile mile down and then just work my way back and if there's any structure like pipes coverts uh docks uh fallen trees anything like that of course i'm going to work that as you should you know that's that's pretty basic stuff right there and then if it's a pretty slow day i'll usually just swim it uh, I'll try everything obviously you know you got to go out there and try everything so I'll swim it a little bit if that's not working I'll start jigging it uh, I'll, maybe I'll get a Texas rig on there and that's how I've been doing my freshwater fishing out here lately that's when I'm using artificial which in salt water I don't like using it too much even though I use it every now and then and yeah freshwater when I do uh, fish live bait I go with shiners shiners is like my go-to thing since I was younger and they're pretty expensive down here so yeah, I try to stay away from it. But other things, other other baits work as well down here, especially down in South Miami. If you're coming down here for the exotic fish, uh, chunks of bread. You just make a ball of bread, put it on the hook. Bread works awesome, especially with the uh, cichlids out there. Uh, you got your worms, shiners, all that stuff works pretty good down here if you're not using artificial. But yeah, that's how I've been fishing the canals down here in Florida for these past few videos. And even when I was younger, that's how I was fishing them, and they seem to work pretty well. If I'm carp fishing though, I'll usually just put a big piece of bread on there with a little bit of weight just to get it to the bottom and just cast it out there and leave it out there for God knows how long. But any other fish for the peacocks, any, any other cichlids, and the large mouths, and what I previously said, that all works out perfectly. And that's the thing about here, depending on where you are too, especially as you get closer to the east of, uh, to the east and closer to the beaches, you might hook up on some tarpon, some snook. I've even hooked up on snooks and tarpon like way out west, but you never know what you're gonna catch out here. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If you made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching.